Robertson, I was an international chef and I'm HRE positive. I came back from overseas in 1990 and I met a lady who, I, who, who was to be my wife, a second marriage. Um, we got married, had two children, and in 1994, I was a bit ordinary, uh, feeling a bit not well, went along to the doctor. He said, you've got chronic fatigue syndrome. And I lived with that diagnosis for a couple of years, uh, but I didn't get very well. In fact, I got worse. So the doctor then decided to do some more tests. Then he went into the doctor, he did a HIV test, Went back two weeks later, he said, your HIV are positive, go home to your wife, um, and my world shattered. I went home, told my wife, and she said, things will be fine. After a couple of years, my wife left, took the children, and just shot through. Um, and after two years, she told them I'd passed away. So for the next, I don't know, five years, I lived in this horrible world of not knowing where to go, not knowing who to contact, waiting, not contacting services because of my own hang-ups. I was discriminative towards the disease myself, so I had a huge issues around that. And then, of course, I had lost everything. I'd lost my wife, my children, my self-esteem, my career. The day I was reunited with my children was probably the most terrifying experience of my life because I didn't know what to expect. I wondered what my children would feel. I wondered what they would think. I wondered how they'd respond. And I was, was I doing the right thing? Was I better off not being their life? Which was a silly thing to think. But when I walked up to my children, my daughter threw her arms around me and said, thank God you're not dead. All I remember was the father that loved me and cried. And my son just threw his arms around me, hugged me and cried and called me boofhead, which is Another story, but um, amazing. The Speakers Bureau has given me the ability to talk to the community, mainly a lot of youth and in schools. But the most important part, of, part about that is what it does for me, how in, that, that changes, how it empowers me to be able to talk so openly about my status and also empowers the children to give them response or the, the youth of today to give them the responsibility to be a, a much more healthier and wealthier generation by acting responsibly in all they do and the response from the children is so gratifying and supporting and understanding and just to be they see a real face mm -hmm.